Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go over the science curriculum that I'm actually going to be using for my incoming second grader um, and that is the Noeo Science. I am going to be using Biology 1 and this is for grades 1 through 3. So if you are interested in this curriculum after watching this video then and you have multiple students and you're kind of wondering can I use this for more than one student? Yes, if they fall within those grades you can use one curriculum for all students that you want to use it for and you would probably just need to purchase separate student lab manuals but other than that let's get started and let me go ahead and show you what is in this curriculum and why i'm excited to get started with it okay so noeo science it could be best described as a balance between the classic method and the charlotte mason approach it doesn't really use single textbooks it basically uses living books hands-on experiments lab notebooks and um, other activities that help your child be more encouraged and want to learn science more. So as a classical curriculum, Noeo Science emphasizes vocabulary development, especially in the younger years. So in regards to my son, he's going into second grade. So vocabulary development will be something that will be emphasized for him. Um, it also helps to develop critical thinking skills and logic through the use of the scientific method. Um, it also incorporates the classical stages of learning, such as grammar, logic, and rhetoric. And as a Charlotte Mason curriculum, they provide books, including living books. Now, living books are basically books that engage the reader and draws them into learning more about a subject. So it's typically narrative in style and written by an authority on the material. So it's not just a fiction book that... Um, someone kind of just came up with. These are actual books that are written by people that have studied um, in that specific area. So that's the amazing part. That's one of the things that actually drew me to this curriculum. Um, the books and the kits utilize a child's early and natural curiosity to acquire knowledge. Their lab manuals, which you see here, also use narration rather than worksheets, tests, or repetitive drills to evaluate learning. Narration actually does help for them to um, think about it a little bit more, to actually question it, to make questions themselves and try to answer it. So I think that will help as well. So what's inside a Noeo package? And what would you have to buy if you decide to go with this curriculum? As you can see here, the Noeo package comes with quite a bit of stuff. The first thing it comes with is the lab manual, the experiment guide, and the instructor's guide. Now, it also comes with all of the books that you will need for this curriculum. I'm gonna go ahead and get those really quick. So here are some books that you will be using with the Noeo curriculum, and this actually came with the package. Here you have the ready to read. This is the rainbow, the sun, the rain, wind, clouds, and snow. Now, if you want, I can flip through these really quick. So here you have the snow, very easy to read. So it's gonna be easy for your child if they are in the younger years to read this. I'm going the wrong way, but. So here you have the wind, the rain. I like that it is illustrated and there's a lot of color. The sun. and rainbow so they'll go ahead and learn about these concepts in a way that they will actually be able to learn and then here you have Louis Pasteur and pasteurization so this goes in a bit um, into the life of Louis Pasteur It's kind of a, well, it's like a comic style, but it's an autobiography, it looks like, of this individual. Then you have Exploring Nature. This is an activity book for kids. I keep going the wrong way. So this is kind of what is included in this book. Then you have Experiments in Earth, Science, and Weather with Toys and Everyday Stuff. So here you have this. Then you have weather clues in the sky. This is for clouds. Okay. 
You have The Boy Who Drew Birds, a story of John James Audubon. Once again, another biography of, a, of an individual. This is really nice. I love the illustrations and the color. Now, if you can see, the letters are a little bit smaller, so depending on where your child is with reading, they can either read this to you or you can read it together. Then you have Audubon's, um, Audubon's Birds of America coloring book to go with, I'm guessing, the Boy Who Drew Birds book. Oh, this is pretty. So they can go ahead and color. And then you have my first book about weather. The Us Born First Encyclopedia of the Human Body. I like how this goes really in depth in the explanation but in a way that would be easy for a young child to understand. Then you have the One Small Square Seashore by Donald M. Silver. You have One Small Square Woods. These illustrations are just so beautiful. Once again, the writing is a little bit smaller, so depending on your child's reading level, they can either read it to you or you could read it with them. This is one thing that I believe I might be reading with him because I just, I find all of this very fascinating. Then you also have the one small square. This is the cactus desert. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations. And these are books that even when we are done with this curriculum, I can find us flipping through over and over again as referencing or whatever the issue or a case may be. And last but not least, you have the first animal encyclopedia, reference guide to the animals of the world. This is a DK book. Here you have a little overview of what it looks like inside. Once again, detailed information about the subject that you are studying. Okay, and then on top of that, you also have the stuff that they include. So here you have the kits that you will actually be needing for this science curriculum. You have kit one all the way through four. Now these kits, what they have is an explanation of what's in it. So in this case, kit one says Petri dish filled with agar, cotton swab, packet of instant yeast. And if you see here, this is exactly what is included. For kit two, it tells you the week that you will actually be using it. So kit two, you have week 10, week 12, week 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then once again, the stuff that is included. And as you can see here, they have that. This is week three. They even include a little rubber ducky. And this is kit number four. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip through um, the actual instructor's guide so that you guys can get an overview of what exactly a day might look like for this. So one thing that you will find is that although the kits included quite a bit of stuff, the things that they do not include are basically certain stuff in the house that you can find pretty easily. So things such as baking, baking soda or cardboard may not have been included in the kits, but those are probably stuff that you can either find in your home or um, on a grocery run if you decide to go shopping that week. So they do kind of give you an overview of what you will need. 
Now, do the instructor's guides include commentary or just a schedule? Let's go ahead and look into it. What you will find is that the instructor guides provide a minimal amount of commentary, but they coordinate books with experiments by giving you an easy to tweak schedule, as you can see here. So here you see you have the schedule for week one. We're going to be learning about the atmosphere and winds. This is for day one all the way to day four. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see clear. And then here you have the books that you are actually going to be using for that week. So for the first week, you're going to be using my first book about weather, ready to read sun, ready to re read wind, experiments in earth science and weather, and the experiment guide. So for day one, you will be using page one through two, page three to four for day two, page five to six for day three. For um, the ready to read sun on day two, you're going to read the whole book. For the ready to re read wind on day three, you're going to read the whole book. And then experiments in earth and weather, earth science and weather for day four, you're going to be reading pages 12 and 13. And then for the experiment guide, which is right here, you're going to go ahead and reference the blown away, which we're going to take a look at. So um, here you have an overview, the kind of, um, you know, the thing to kind of go over what we talk about, um, things we when we talk about science. Science is the process we use to answer questions about the physical world we see around us. Science is the body of knowledge other people have collected. And then you have to admit that it is strange that the world is a place where one day warmth can come from the sky, another day water, and another day ice and snow. You're going to learn about the atmosphere, which is what makes Earth's climate a place where life can flourish, so different from the moon's climate, for example. And then we will also answer the question every kid has had. What causes the blustery weather when it's windy outside? So this is something that you're going to kind of overview with your um, student just to get them ready to for what you are going to be going over. So here you have the reading questions for day one. So once again, you will read this, this, um, the book that is shown here. So in this case, my first book about weather, we'll go ahead and read that. Then I will go ahead and ask some questions and see if he can answer um, in regards to, like to narrating it. So you have day one, day two, day three, and day four. And then on day four, you have your experiment blown away. Here it shows you the materials from the home. So this is stuff that you are going to have to be getting from the house. So construction paper, ruler, scissor, thumbtack, pencil with eraser. And then here you have the actual experiment questions. Why does the pinwheel spin? What difference does the pinwheel spin? what direction, sorry, not what difference, does the pinwheel spin? And then that is it, that's week one in a nutshell. And then here you have week two, same thing. Once again, they'll show you the books to be using, the pages for the specific day. Here you have two different experiments. It looks like the water cycle and then making a cloud. You have the overview, kind of what you're gonna go over with your child or your student. The reading questions. And then here you have, after day four, you have the experiments for the water cycle and the experiments for making a cloud. Once again, it tells you what you'll need from home, three identical washcloths. Here you'll need a glass jar, matches, and gallon-sized gallon -sized Ziploc bag with ice. So pretty much things that you can find pretty quickly in your house. And then, so let's go over to like week 25. So week 25, you're gonna be learning about horses, cows, and more. You have the DK First Animal Encyclopedia, the days that you will be using it. You also have the experiment guide and the days that you will be using that. And then once again, the overview is pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. And then you get to the reading questions for the specific days and the information for the activities or the experiments. So very simple, easy to follow, um, not that much information. The most of most of the information it looks like you're going to be getting through the actual books that you'll be reading to your student so this is where you're probably going to get a lot of the information that you need for the experiments and as you can see the books correspond to the experiments that you will be using for that week now you have the experiment guide and the experiment guide let's do unit one week one so here you have the blown away one that we were looking at. 
The question is, does wind have power? Materials from the house that you will need, the instructions that you will need. It says, follow the instructions on pages 12 through 13 of experiments in earth science and weather. So if you look, where is it? So if you look here, you have the experiments of earth science and weather. So you will go ahead and go back to the actual page. So it says page 12 to 13. So you just flip over to page 12 through 13. And this tells you what you will need. So it tells you a little description about flying a kite and wind and the atmosphere, the materials that you will need, the steps that you will need to complete it, gives you the definition of an atmosphere, and then kind of little um, pictures so that you can make it correctly, and then a fact in regards to wind turbines. And that is your experiment for that day. Pretty simple. And once again, it comes in a book. It's not necessarily something that they, they show or um, print out. It's in the actual book itself. And then it tells you what we learned, when can help us do all sorts of things such as fly a kite, sail a boat, or generate electricity. Then you have week two and the experiment. This one will be once again in the experiments in earth science and weather. Let me go ahead and flip over to week 25. So here you have week 25. Activities, milk the cow, that's gonna be interesting. How do you milk a cow? And then you have the materials. Here are the materials included in the kit. Here are the materials that you'll need from your home. Here's the instructions. This one does include the instructions in the actual manual. And then at the end, what we learn, female cows produce milk that comes out of their udders. The cows need good nutrition to make milk and can give five to 10 gallons of milk each day. So that is for week 25, and this is once again for the experiment guide. And then the last thing that is included is the lab manual. All right, and so for the lab manual, once again, you have the schedule laid out. You have the overview, so basically the same thing that you had in the instructor's guide. So here are the actual worksheets. So here's where they actually answer the questions in regards to the reading that was done. Now, the um, lab manual is something that you may need to purchase more than one of if you are having multiple students using the same um, science. But these are pretty simple. Like I said, day one, day one worksheet day two worksheet, day three worksheet, and then day four worksheet. And here they can actually do their hypothesis and draw pictures and whatnot of their experiment. Let's go to week 25. All right, so here we have day 25, day one through four. Once again, the overview and the actual worksheet, the questions, where they have space to write the answer. And then there's no worksheet for day two, day three worksheet, and day four worksheet. Okay, now on to some important questions in regards to this science curriculum. How much did I pay? So I actually paid $251.49 for this curriculum and everything that was included. So this was an actual kit for biology one. Now, the one thing with Noeo Science is they do have different packages. They have biology one, which is for grades one through three. They have chemistry one, which is for grades one through three. And they have physics ones, which is for grades one through three. Each one is a 12 month course. So it's made for the full year, um, whether it's 12 months or 180 days. Basically, this curriculum is made to last the full school year. So for bi biology one, he will use that for all of second grade. And then I'll probably move on to chemistry one and then physics one. Now, this is for grades one through three. I might end up just using um, chem or physics one in grade four just because 
once again, I don't want to rush it. I want to take my time and make sure that he understands the concepts. After that, you have biology two, which is for grades four through six. You have chemistry two, which is for grades four through six. And you have physics two, which is for grades four through six. And then last but not least, you have chemistry three, which is for grades seven through eight and physics three, which is for grades seven through eight. So biology three is not um, something that they have created, I don't think. So these kits come once again with everything. And like I said, for my kit alone, I paid $251.49. However, it came with the books, it came with the um, things that I will need for the experiments, um, minus the things that I may find in my house. And then it also came with the lab manual, the instructor's guide, and the experiment guide. So another thing someone might ask is how long do I have to put into each day? It depends on you. If you want to do as fast as you can or as slow as you can, you can do a four-day schedule or a two-day schedule. So for example, for grades one through three, if you decide to do a four-day schedule, then you could do um, a 15 to 20 minute, um, you know, just quick flip through of science, understanding the concepts, talking about the concepts, maybe having them go over the definitions to make sure that they understand them. If you're doing a two-day schedule, then you're going to be doing like a 30 to 40 minute day. Um, the schedule that they've laid out for you is for a four-day schedule, so that's what I plan on using myself personally because that way I can kind of follow along with the schedule that they created and I don't feel like I'm putting so much information in one day. I'm kind of taking it slow, making sure he understands the concepts and we're actually enjoying the science themselves. And then once again, it's, um, it's made to take an entire school year, so 36 weeks to complete um, one full curriculum. But that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions that I may have missed, I tried to put everything in this video, um, questions that I myself would ask if I were looking through a video. So if there's something that I missed or glossed over and you kind of want a little bit more information, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments. I'm more than willing to give you the information that you guys need or as you guys can also check out their website which I will include in the description as well if you're interested in this curriculum. I'm sure there's other videos that you can find on YouTube that might go over some stuff as well that I may have missed. So um, once again, if there's something that you want me to go over again, please don't hesitate to ask. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.